Woo -hoo. Look at that hair. Boom, kayak fishing. Hey y'all, Steve here. Hey, I'm back on my home turf kayak fishing at Oak Island, North Carolina today. Full disclosure y'all, today's fishing sucked. So, I thought I'd show you the sights a little bit and take you on a walkthrough of my 2015 Hobie Outback. Most days when I fish this particular area, I usually put in at Blue Water Marina. However, the tides were going out, so I decided to put in at 17th Street. The plan was just to drift back on a falling tide all the way back to the marina where wifey would pick me up later. So here's my initial path. I was heading over to the docks. Tide was going out, a lot of fast running water. So I thought I would just fish around the docks, see if I could spook up anything over there. I was using plastics and I also stopped for a little while to have a lunch. Wifey packed me an awesome lunch today. She made me some kind of a turkey meat sandwich, threw some Doritos in a bag, and of course, packed me water and she actually packed me an ice cold beer so I'll have that a little bit later mm. Mm. awesome thanks babe well you guessed it no luck here so I just started a drift to go further down and just mostly trolling a plastic and working these docks but once again the fish were not cooperating with me today So I'm back on the move again, no fish, passing a few boats, no one's doing anything. So everybody's kind of sharing the fact that there are no fish bike today. So I find a little beach area, I pull my Hobie up and I decide, you know, I'm not going to waste today. At least I'm going to film a walkthrough of my Hobie Outback. Notice my feet pedaling here at the bottom. I'm doing a little stutter pedal. When you get into shallow water with the Hobies, and the Mirage Drive system, you, you can still maneuver, but you have to really short stroke your pedal. Well, since there hasn't been a lot of fishing action as of yet today, I thought I would go over the setup of my Hobie Outback. I have the 2015 model Hobie Outback, and I try to keep things as simple and as minimal as possible. And I've only had this kayak a few months, so I haven't nailed it down to a science yet. And all you kayak fishermen know that every time you go, your conditions may be different. And you'll use different things or take different things with you. But today, just doing a little uh, fishing in the Intracoastal Waterway, I've got it set up with... Uh, right here, I've got a soft cooler bag, and it's perfect to fit between my Hobie H-Box and the Hobie seat. Fits in there perfectly. I like to use Hobie equipment because I just feel like they've made it specially for the Hobie, obviously. And they, uh, they just make things that are functional and that work. So I'm using the Hobie tackle tray. One of the things I like on this is, first of all, it fits on this rectangular H-Bar of the um, of the box and it has these elastic straps to keep your stuff inside your tackle box so I really like that's very innovative don't have to worry about losing stuff so I've got that and I today I've just got the uh, measuring board hopefully I need to use it haven't used it yet I've just put me a live bait well in case I need that I've got my fishing net right here. I've got a waterproof bag and I've got some camera stuff in there and a recharger. One of the things that you might find interesting is I'm using the Vexilar sonar phone. 
it's the sonar that works with an app on your iPhone or I believe they have it on Android also but I've got this just simply attached to my H box back here and here's my transducer cord I've got all this tied up and neat and this is portable I can move it from one kayak to another I have a monopod set up with my GoPro Hero Sessions. I usually fish with two rods. I don't like to get a lot of rods. Like I said, I like to keep it as simple as possible. I also like to use an anchor, usually, more than a stakeout pole. So I keep my anchor. This is a $34 cheapo from Walmart. I've got it hooked to a temporary anchor trolley that I made myself until I can get my permanent one installed so this is what I use uh, as um, to keep me set in a position to fish I just use the anchor and literally that's just about it over here on the side pockets I keep my pair of pliers attached I've got my fish grip right here ready to go in case I need it and these pockets come in very handy just to store your junk while you're on the water and that's pretty much it that's today's setup nothing special and I'm trying to keep as much stuff out of the kayak and keep it simple as possible all right it's time for me to leave and I decide to take the shortest route back and that was in the main channel of the intracoastal waterway now you have to hug the side here because there's a lot of boat traffic and I was pretty much finished fishing for the day so I just enjoyed a nice trip back. Once you round the curve you're pretty much out of the boat traffic. So I called wifey to come get me and you remember that beer she packed for me? Yeah, it was right in this stretch where I was able to just relax, enjoy a beer and wait for wifey to come pick me up. All right, y'all, that's it. I appreciate you watching and supporting Adventure Outdoors. I'll see all of you in my next video.